Hello everybody and welcome back to another Mortal Jellyfish video. Today's video is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be going through basically the announcements area, the Twitter feed, and the progress feed of the to Our Defense Simulator uh, Discord page. Um, so these leaks are nothing crazy and special uh, if you're already in the Discord. I'm telling you that now at the start of the video. Uh, this is mainly for people who may be too young or just don't care to be a part of social media things such as Discord and other places. Uh, with that said, we're basically going to take a quick look through all the leaks that have happened from my knowledge from basically starting about last month all the way up into current date. Uh, with that said, let's get into this for the people who need this information. Uh, so first up, we have something big is coming. It's just around the corner. Um, this is all about the update, uh, making things more compatible for, uh, less powerful devices, I guess you could say. Um, I could say this update will provide much needed optimization for slower devices. There you go. So this update's going to obviously make slower devices better. Uh, this could be from your tablets to a MacBook that it shows here. Um, could just be really for anything. Now, not all this is leaks because this is the announcement, so there's other things in here. Uh, this is a huge visual change upcoming, which is a very popular picture going around. Uh, you can see that everything's got different like skin colors and different colors and whatnot here. Uh, getting away from the default noob yellow, I believe, if I remember correctly, is the point of that. Uh, there's a subreddit too. I don't if you're if you're here for Discord leaks, then I mean I'm guessing you're probably not 100% there. This was the Fourth of July stuff, obviously. Um, the wiki revamp. This already happened. I'm pretty sure. Um, is there anything else? Oh, here we are. Uh, the new logo. Tower Defense Simulator's new logo. So I'll have to figure out how to work that into uh, when I put text on my stuff, I guess. Um, there's also this, Attention Clothing Designers. If you're interested in making TDS-related clothing and getting your clothing out there, shoot me a DM on Twitter. Our new lobby will include a home store to showcase and sell clothes from artists in this community. All clothing will not be sold under the paradoxum group uh so all revenue would go straight to you so if you make clothing you're interested in that there's going to be a clothing store that'd be neat to actually go in there and check that out see what stuff gets put in there uh so we also got new rank emo emojis so we got five through 45 as bronze i'm assuming uh probably this changes depending on your rank i'm pretty sure uh silver we got level 50 through 90 uh, and then gold you get gold obviously for being 95 plus Hopefully this gets expanded on for uh, higher levels beyond just this. Uh, next up, obviously the reason I make all the videos I've been making about soloing two-door maps. Uh, obviously the exact thing I snipped out of here. Uh, the map badges are getting replaced and they're going to come in with things such as like these ones like Defeat Fallen King and give different incentive challenges uh, in the game versus just beat this map. Uh, so there's that. Um... By the way, the announcement page is a little hard to go through for uh, stuff. Uh, follow the official Twitter account for the latest update. Yeah, the Twitter account has a lot more leaks. All right, so that's the announcements page. Uh, next, we're going to get into more of the juicier stuff by going over to the Twitter page. Let me scroll up real quick. I, I had all these scrolled up, but I guess it scrolled back down on me. All right, let's... The Twitter's going to have a lot more uh, leaks to it. Okay, wait, no. All right, I'd say about right here. Uh, so the new uh, level 5 mortar explosion animation looks like this. Hey, let me click on that. Oh my goodness, that's loud. Uh, I had all these muted too, but I guess apparently they said nope to that. Is this supposed to be this poor of quality? I have no idea. Either way, you can kind of see what the explosion looks like. I don't know why this is showing up so bad or if it's just in that quality. Uh, but you can see the new explosion. Oh, there it goes. Better quality now. I don't know why it was so bad quality at first, but you get the point. That's the new uh, explosion for the level 5 mortars. Um, this is, I think this is them turning Enforcer into Shotgunner now. Uh, instead of being called Enforcer, it should be called Shotgun. And I believe introducing new redesigned skins coming in the next update, which will design your favorite. Hashtag TDA. Shotgun, that's the way to go. I'm pretty sure this is them changing out uh, Enforcer to Shotgunner. Uh, with that said, um, we're getting like a female DJ skin. I think this is also a part to another game, but I don't know the the relation behind that. I just a female DJ skin for me personally. That's the way I view it. 
Um, can you guess what these are for? That's what this one says. I don't know if there's anything else tied behind this 100%, uh, but there's that. I'm basically just making you guys feel like you're in the Discord here. That's the whole point of this video. So I'm trying to get you the leaks, though, but also making uh, you part of the Discord without being a part of the Discord. All right. Um, just another picture about being on mobile devices, being faster sooner. Uh, we got this. This zombie flying with a balloon. Not 100% sure how that's going to work, uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, we got Twitter. Oh, a leak right here. Uh, wave 48, and it says, and much more. So we can assume that in hardcore, whatever is getting released in the new update will allow rounds to go beyond wave 48. Uh, this leads us into our next video, which I'm going to pause because I don't think this music might be covered. I'm not sure. I don't know. Should I wait for this to get better quality? I don't know why they're so poor quality when I first click on them. Take a while to load, I guess. Uh, but as you can see here, I think it's opening a gold box. It looks appears to be a gold box. I don't know. There it goes. Better quality. I, was on. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, opening a golden box, okay? So obviously there'll be like a really cool animation and stuff added to opening uh, gold boxes and stuff. So that should be interesting. Um, again, got a slow device, no problem. We have tons and much needed optimizations for the new tower defense simulator. Slow device, people. No more one through three minute loading in time. So hopefully that helps a lot of you out with the slower devices. Uh, here's another video. I think this is another unboxing video. Yeah, they're unboxing a normal box. As you can see, still a pretty cool animation. Not quite as crazy as the gold one, but obviously the gold has to be fancier. Uh, tower Defense Simulator, not our Defense Simulator. <laughs> this is a, I believe this is our Russian skin for uh, the Mini Gunner, which is pretty nice. Um, next up, we got. I think I just showed you this picture in the announcements tab of all the different skin colors and stuff. Of course, thing this is blurred because I don't want you to see it. But I'm pretty sure we have this now. Because if you see it's green, I'm pretty sure this has been leaked. And we'll get back to that here in just a second. Um, that's about subreddit, the new wiki revamp. All right, uh, Abyssal Trench. I'm going to pause this. All right, I apologize for the bad quality. Hopefully about halfway through the video, it starts to look better. I'll replay the whole video for you guys if it doesn't. I don't, I don't know why. The quality of these videos doesn't love me the first time watching them. Uh, it didn't seem to get any better. <laughs> Hopefully it loads. I'm going to give it a minute just to see if it loads. But as you can see, Abyssal Trench got reworked. Uh, one thing for me here is you used to be able to place on the mortars with them being spherical. I worry that cliff space, uh, cliff space here might be more limited. I don't think we're getting a better quality here, but... I believe that's a dolphin jumping over that, if I remember correctly. Maybe the smaller view of it looks a little bit better, kind of. All right. With that said, uh, we got get ready to show off your experience with all the new upcoming ranks, the shiny badges that will appear next to your name, chat, player list, and leaderboards. So we'll get these fancy badges depicting uh, your levels and your ranks. Your rank level, I don't know which. Something like that. Probably about the same thing. Rank and level, I feel like, come in the same area. Apparently it'll be in chat, player list, and leaderboard, so, you know, get to show off those extra high levels you have and stuff like that, uh, or rank, I don't, I feel like level's gonna depict that, but it could be wins or something else, um, show off, uh, introducing profile cards, show off the maps you've beaten, brag about your triumphs, view other players' loadouts, determine if users troll or genuine teammates, and so much more, this is a long-awaited two, coming to an update near you, so player cards, um, Shows their troops, what level they are, their badge, your name, uh, your wins. I'm assuming this is PvP wins, maybe? I'm not not sure. And then the skull maybe losses. I don't 100% know. We'll just have to see when it comes out. Uh, bronze ranks, level 1 through 45. So you can see at level 5, you'll get this one. Level 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Uh, so people will know. You'll get, yeah, so your ranks are depending on your level. So if you're level 45, you'll have this big one, and then if you're level 5, you'll have the lowest one. Um, with that said, we also have the return of the classic tank models, uh, which will be brought in as a skin, I believe. So if you have the skin, you can get back to the original models of these two tanks, uh, which are pretty nice. I actually like these better than the normal ones because this one's got all the nice blue highlights, and the other one's got the headlights and stuff. I don't know. 
I just, I don't know, I kind of like those designs better than the current ones. The current ones are nice too, but maybe I just want something new. Uh, right here, new version of Tower Defense Simulator on a $30 USD Amazon 7 Amazon Fire 7 tablet with decent frames. This means lower devices will be able to run the latest updates with ease. So we can see that this is a $30 device uh, being able to run this, the new update, pretty well. Now here's the green truck I was talking about. So uh, a lot of guys guessed it was a Jeep. Okay, so it is confirmed actually. Guessed it was a Jeep. You were close as shown in the previous leak. I present the return of M939 truck. Uh, this will be a part of the classic mill base skin. Okay, so, yeah, I guess they did announce that. I just pieced that together myself reading through this. But that's what that is. It is, in fact, this truck. So we do know what that blurred image is. It is this. Um, new medals. A shiny reward to keep of which armies you've triumphed over. New amazing medals hand-drawn. Uh, coming to soon to the new update. So, you know when you beat something, you'll either get, like, the beginner badge or the molten, the gold, and then the fallen. So I'm assuming these are what the badges will look like versus the basic, like, purple, gold, or whatever they look like currently. If I had a side-by-side -side picture. And then, of course, the new logos in there as well. So these are going to look way better than the current uh, badges, medals, badges. I don't... There's so many different words you could call them, honestly. Uh, in the current game. So there's that now. Uh, one of the most recent leaks is Welcome to the Battle Soldier. This is obviously the leak of a new gold skin. Soldier is going to be getting a gold skin. Um, yeah, with that said, so we got gold soldier coming up, so there'll be more gold boxes soon. You can now see your teammates or opponents have equipped it in an upcoming TDS update. Alright, so here's another view of like those player cards. Uh, so you can see Sniper Scout, Sniper Scout, Sniper Scout, uh, Commander. I think this is blurred because he's probably got a troop on that you're not supposed to see yet. Uh, and then Scout Sniper, of course. And this is just obviously the basic beginning of these cards as they're level zeros. They have no triumphs and nothing. So obviously, um, we won't 100% see how it counts up like in the hundreds and the thousands if you have that many, if how that looks exactly. But I mean, you could visualize it in your head. Uh, with that said, that's the end of the Twitter feeds in here. So we got one more tab to go in and that's progress feed. Uh, we already have this in game. So I think it starts about right here maybe uh yeah okay i shall nourish you deprive people the leak of one of the new bosses coming to hardcore mode uh so i'm assuming it's the uh metal looking one that we're looking at here because that's the only one i don't really recognize in the mix here so pay attention for him uh that's uh and then we got the balloon leak again um did I hear new R15 emotes? Okay, so we got new emotes coming in. And then, just, I think, we'll post the full thing tomorrow. What could it be? Uh, obviously, we've seen this. This is the gold chest unboxing video, I believe, if I remember correctly. Which is really nice. Um, this looks like that video. This is the unboxing video. Okay, so here's all the new skin colors on everything. So we got Commander, Cowboy, Crook Boss, DJ, Demo Man, Electroshocker. Was this? This is either Freezer and this is Frost Blast. This has got to be Freezer and that's Frost Blaster, I think. I could be wrong. Um, Gladiator, Archer, Hunter, John. John confused me for a little bit there for a second. I'm so used to like the mask design on there. Um, Medic, Minigunner, Mortar. Outlaw. Outlaw looked a little weird. I'm not used to him standing up. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, who's that? Uh, paintballer. Uh, then we got Pyro. Uh, Rocketeer. Mm, is that Scout? Maybe? And that might be Sniper. I'm not sure. Uh, Shredder. Soldier. And then Bee Swarmer, I think is what that one's called. I don't know. 100% its name. Um, only the strongest survive. Um, here's another picture. Uh... I'm not sure the thing behind this. Uh, it's on the Reddit page, but we're just sticking to Discord. But there's a picture of something. Uh, maybe a new mini, mini gunner skin or something. Fancy. Who knows? Um, golden mini gunner. I believe this was a... Either this is an update to its looks, or it's either talking about the rate of fire fix that's coming. Uh, did somebody say golden perks? So golden perks is when you get a gold skin, you'll also get the golden perks. Uh, what this allows you to do is you can take this buff... 
and apply it to the unit itself and then use whatever skin you would like. Uh, this says right here, golden perks means means that once you unlock a crate, you get both the golden skin and the golden buff for a certain tower, and that you can apply the perk to be on or off and will be applied no matter what skin you're using. So now you can use your premium skin. So you can use your premium skins while also continuing to get the gold buff as long as you've earned the gold buff and skin. Which you get both when you open a gold box is how it's made it sound. Oh yeah, more hype and stuff. Made a fix for the Roth bug. So the rate of fire bug, if you had golden mini, it wasn't shooting as fast as it was. So basically you weren't getting the actual DPS it was supposed to be putting out. Uh, it's now fixed in the new update whenever the update does drop. Um, just a quick update. We've made lots of progress and I mean lots. We're 99% sure it will be releasing sometime this month. We hope to provide a date soon, but there before that we need to do internal testing with our quality assurance team. Uh, so, the update should be coming out this month, 99% sure if something crazy happened, obviously, maybe, probably early next month, if anything, I would guess, if I had to guess, but I would say it's probably best that they're probably going to get done this month. Uh, these are profile cards again, the new tanks, uh, a throwback to the lobbies we've had throughout the years, I don't know if you want to look at these, being a part of the Discord here, if you want to look at all the old lobbies, I wasn't around for any of these, I know one of these, and that was it, that's it, so, and that's the current one. But there's that. Uh, new version of Tower Defense Simulator running on $30. Okay, yeah, we read that one uh, for super slow devices. All right, uh, we will continue testing the, new on, <laughs> the newest version on low-end devices to ensure experience is great for all. Pictured below some devices bought for testing. So these are some devices they bought to test out here, guys. Uh, so you can see that there's a Samsung Galaxy Tab Lit A, I think is what that is, or Tab A. Uh, then there's a Samsung Galaxy Tab tablet s6 Lite, which was on there uh, an amazon fire uh and then an apple pro uh so they've been buying a bunch of different things up to test the game on to make sure they're working uh life made a lot easier um i guess that's kind of like a rate of fire damage and stuff or i'm not sure 100 what all those mean uh, i think that says the maybe the unit caps as well i don't know uh but different spot for placing the towers i think it's like put directly in the middle of your screen it would appear uh, along with your triumphs and stuff like that, just so you can keep better track of them. Um, new emote coming to this. Uh, I believe this is the crossover with Arsenal here. Um, I want to play this, but I feel like it's going to have copyrighted music with it. Oh, good, it's muted. Nice. All right, so this will be a new dance coming to the game soon. If it's not, I don't think this is in the game. I think it's in, with the new update, uh, just like everything else. Same mode from Arsenal, by the way, just so in case you didn't know. I wouldn't have known unless they told me. We have a couple more things to finish this update, but we're almost ready to post the release date. Uh, this was six days ago. They said they were almost ready to post a release date. Uh, I will say, though, that this update will update launch is going to be spectacular. Maybe some explosions? Question mark? There will be a 12-hour live stream for the launch with developer Q&A gameplay of the old version. In addition to the launch, we plan to concurrent updates to stick to a stricter bi-weekly update schedule that means that you can either see content features ev updates every two weeks so basically what they're saying is after this update they want to try to keep themselves to a strict schedule of uh, getting the game an update every two weeks uh just to continuously get new uh new stuff out there uh here's a sneak peek at the new lobby music um I don't know if we're allowed to listen to this, but you know what? We're just going to play it anyways. I'm going to pause my music, and then we'll listen to this. I don't think it's copyrighted because somebody told me they make their own music, but either way, we'll just take the risk here for us, for the team. I'm going to be into quiet now so you can listen to this. This game has chat books. Brought to you by Mad Studio. And there's that. There's the sneak peek of the new lobby music. Uh, it sounds pretty nice. To be honest, I've always thought the music in the game was not bad. I just turn it off because then people start playing custom DJs and everything else. Uh, with that said, I'm going to turn my music back on uh, to continue up the rest of this video. Uh, with the amount of content there is in this update, I think it's safe to say that TD this is TDS's biggest update. Way bigger than last year's mega update. Maxed Soldier 2020 versus 2019. Uh, so this will be the new maxed out soldier, uh, and this was the old one. So you can see he looks a bit more fancy. 
some rounded shoulder pads, a better barrette on his head, some more like full face goggles. Um, I would argue that this is a better bandana slash scarf than that one. Overall, just really more a refined build of the old 2019 one. Uh, looking good though, looking fresh. Gonna match in with that new update really well, I think. Um, next up we got Welcome to the Battle Soldier, which we already seen. Uh, we already seen this leak as well. I believe this is just a video showing uh, the actual game, kind of. Here you are. So you got your troops. You get this one unlocked at level 10. I mean, it's kind of showing your player card, the lobby a little bit. Very interesting leak here. And then whatever is going on here. Can't tell if that's a... It looks like a cat, but it may be a hamster getting a bath. Who knows? Um... Next up, we got this portal, I think is what this is, or something of the sort. Uh, it looks like it could be something to teleport. Other words, you stand in it and you die because it's a laser beam. But there's no way, if this was a laser beam and killed you, that somebody would stand to it this happily. So take it from below natural yourself. Obviously, it does not kill you. He's way too happy next to that laser to possibly be able to kill you. Uh, and then the final thing, uh, out of the three tabs here, for main where mainly all the leaks get dropped... Uh, we got the difficulty vote here. So as you can see, unless you're level 10, you can no longer vote for Golden or Fallen, it would appear. You can only vote for uh, Molten and Beginner. I'm assuming if you have high levels carrying you, uh, you probably just don't vote and they can vote and lock you into a higher difficulty. But uh, other words, as for uh, newbie players or noobs um, joining and then locking you into Fallen and then skipping every wave and killing you, uh, doesn't seem like that's going to happen exactly unless you lock yourself into the Fallen round with them. Uh, looks like they'll be forced to play the weaker game modes, or at least put their vote into the weaker game modes that they probably should be playing until they get better towers. Uh, with that said, this video did come out over 20 minutes long, but hopefully for the people who wanted to be a part of the Discord but simply don't make the age limit or whatever reason, uh, hopefully this gave you a good look in here and uh, hopefully you seen something new or maybe you learned something you hadn't known. Um, yeah, but this is all inside the TDS Discord, so uh, if you are old enough to be in the Discord, which I believe is 13 and up and whatnot, uh, make sure to scroll down a little bit below the game and join it so you can see these currently up to date rather than some of these that I showed you are about a month old now. So, yeah, and then of course the newest ones being as of two days ago or pretty much yesterday since it's 3 a.m. On that note, guys, uh, have a good rest of your day, afternoon, morning. Um, that's all I got for this video today. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, leave me a like and a comment and I will try to get more... Uh, Discord style leaks like this. Obviously, I can only do that as they come out or if the new game comes out Obviously, this will be kind of like a dead thing uh, With that said, I will see you guys on the next stream or video. Peace out